Hey guys, Shane Conley from How to Wrench, and I'm excited. I finally got it done. I've got the camera setup done for you to be able to see how I'm going to make all my future videos in amazing quality, amazing detail by getting that perfect shot. If anybody out there has got their own YouTube channel or doing any of their how-to stuff, or maybe just even screwing around for fun, we know how difficult it can be and how time-consuming just the camera setup can be. You can have all the knowledge in the world, but if people can't see it, it doesn't do much good. I'm going to redo hundreds of my old videos here in my new personal YouTube studio and shop at, at uh, my business. And the reason is, is just to improve that quality. I have a lot of good entry level uh, skill set videos. Every mechanic should know this as my most popular playlist. I'm just getting ready to crest 4 million views as of December uh, 11th, 2016. And I, I wouldn't be able to do that without you subscribers and you viewers, so I'm going to ramp it up. So stay tuned to this video. Not only am I going to show you the camera that's going to be able to be used for the, all the future videos, but what I'm going to be able to show you is how I made it if you want to duplicate it for yourself. doesn't matter what you're videoing. This setup is killer. Check it out. As an adjustable strap clamp, if you will, this pivots right here so I can get a perfect angle. I only got to put nails, you know, anywhere I want around the rafters. Another good reason that I didn't enclose this garage space is it's going to be really easy for me to access just common video points. Get a close up here of this assembly. You can see that if I want, I can snug this down. The other thing I love about this is how fast it is to move this up or down. And look how quick it is to move around. And then this mount is able to rotate, you know, back and forth to get that perfect angle. And it can swivel, obviously, on its joint there. So pretty cool. Here, look how nice and stable this post is. If I hadn't put that counterweight on there, this would be kicked sideways and that would create a lot of adjustment on the camera itself. Check out the great storage of this setup as well. All right, what do you think? Put some comments below. You know, we've got an opportunity here unlike anything we've seen before. Uh, I've said this a lot. You guys know my checklist story about my mom that the crossover between medical and technical or mechanical fields is unbelievably similar. It's just we aren't using some of these great practices. I mean, think about the medical field where they're doing a surgery and they're looking at what they're scoping something or doing some microsurgery and they're watching a TV screen the whole time or a monitor. We could be doing that for diagnosis. You could have a tripod set up in your shop. You don't even have to go to the extent of all this. It's just really handy. But you could have a tripod that's looking over uh, at a piston, at a part, at a cylinder head, at a valve seat, instead of getting down there and squinting, and look and make really great diagnostic decisions based on what you can see. Um, once again, the crossover is just amazing. So I would encourage you to keep following this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please also remember you have to select the notifications button to get all future videos automatically. Join me on this journey to improve our craft, to dig in, also be willing to share ideas and teach me, and uh, let's just keep on getting better together. As I always say, make it a great day and keep wrenching. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.